So for this video, I need to replace the end on these cables. Uh, if you ever bought one of these cables, they charge a ridiculous amount for them. And you can do it yourself pretty easily. Uh, the, the hook on these broke off. And so uh, to do this job, the only special tool you need is this thing. I bought this at uh, Home Depot or ages ago and it's still working fine. Uh, you need a couple of the end clips or however many you're going to replace. I recommend these things. They protect the clip and help keep it from snagging on things getting broken and they're very cheap. Um, a cutter to uh, to cut the casing off of the wiring. Scissors are, are old scissors. Very important. I'll show you why. And then I use a marker. Uh, ruler is optional to measure things out. But again, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, replace this piece on here. So, okay, let's get started, get things out of the way. First thing I'm going to do is just snip the old end off. Um, and then I'm going to go about an inch and a half, mark it. Then I'm going to cut the casing. The safest way to cut this casing is to cut it longitudinally first. If you go around it like this, you may cut in too deep. So, and if you can, if you can kind of get between the wire, you can sometimes feel where the wire is. You don't want to go too deep. Um, let's see if I can get it first time. There we go. Yeah, it looks okay. Peel it back to here. And then it's easy just to use the scissors to snip that piece off, uh, make it a little bit cleaner. Helps to have a nice square end on it. Okay, so you'll notice that there are pairs of wires in here and what we're going to do is we're going to those colors are very important. And here's the diagram for for inserting the wires. So the clip, as you can see, this clip, the hook thing right here on the back is away from us. And what we'll do is we'll insert the wires into here in this order. And you have to do it all at once. That's the trick. So what we're going to do is we're going to prepare this We'll shove all the wires in here and then we'll use this tool to crimp the to crimp these pieces down. So it will smash these contacts in and it will also push this plastic piece in to help hold it. Okay. So uh, next step. Prepare the wires. So you have to untwist them. Get them all out straight. Okay. And what I do then is make sure you can see that against this background. Background may be a bit busy. But uh, okay. So the first one is orange and white. We find orange and white. And you just grab it, move it around make it the first position. Straighten it out. That helps get the curls out of it. Next is orange. Solid orange. So we'll put that next. Next is green and white or I should say green on white. Then solid blue. Then blue on white then green, then brown on white, and solid brown. So again, very important to keep these in order. I'm going to keep, I'll keep pulling these out to make sure that they are straight because otherwise they become disorderly and they've gotten out of sequence, but at least I'm getting, getting a little bit there. Okay, so again, go back, check, orange and white, orange, Green and white got away from me. Green, blue. 
um, white, blue on white, got it, snuck away, there it is, blue on white, uh, green, brown on white, and brown. Okay, again, got to hold these in sequence. Now, what we're going to do is, this is inserted in here like this, and you want about that much of the wire coming out. So, what I typically do is, you can see this, maybe you can't, you see this piece right there, that is where this piece will stop, and the, this will go in. You don't want these too long, so you kind of measure it out, you say, okay, it's right about here, holding them in the correct order, you snip them straight across. Straight across. Very important. Like that. So here I have them organized. And it's important to have them straight. So again, last final check. Orange on white, orange. Green on white, green. Blue blue on white, solid green, brown on white, and solid brown. Okay, once again, hook goes behind, very important. Slide into position. Push, push, push. Make sure the ends are tight up against here. My jacket is a little bit short. Sometimes like you can stretch the jacket back out. Take the tool. Insert the, the plug in the correct direction all the way in. Give it a hard squeeze. And there it is. So there's plug number one. So let's take a second to understand what we're doing here. I think that will help. You'll notice that each one of these wires has a little plastic channel inside there. You can just barely see that. And what we're trying to do by flattening this and straightening it all is to get each wire into its proper channel and we want the wire to come all the way out to the end because it has to go underneath this contact when when we put this in the machine and press the uh, the machine is going to press this contact this gold contact down into the wire so the wire has to be underneath there and it has to be in the correct position another thing we're doing is you'll see this piece of plastic back here the machine is pushing that down into the casing. You can see that right there. It's pushing it down into the casing to help hold the wire in position. So, but when everything is in order, this is the way it should look. You notice that the wire comes all the way out to the end. When this piece gets pushed in, you can just barely see this uh, coming through here, making contact with the brown wire, in this case. And that's what we need that's exactly what we need and then the last thing we keep talking about is this hook and this is the hook or the lock or connect uh, connection clip that's on the back now um, common mistake is I should have put this on first, but I've got another end to do, so I will cut off this end, and now I will put them on to ensure that I don't make that mistake again. Okay, this one will go that way, this one will go this way, and we'll start the process again. About one and a half inches. Mark. I'll cut this way just to be contrary this time. And cut down this way.
Again we'll untwist. I'm going to be more aggressive about straightening out these wires. Get all kinks and twists out. Okay, and start the pattern over. First, this side is exactly the same as the other end will be, or the other, the other end was. Uh, orange on white, then orange, then green on white, then blue, then blue on white, then green, then brown on white, and brown. And again, I'm going to be more aggressive about getting this flat. Okay, checking the sequence one more time. Orange on white, orange. Green on white, blue. Blue on white, green. Brown on white, and brown. Okay, so, quick measure here. And snip off right about there. Straight across. Find my plug, remembering that I've already put the protector on here. Clip away, insert my wires. I will do one final check, orange on white, orange, orange, green on white, blue, blue on white, green, brown on white, brown. Clip away, insert. Check to make sure my ends are all the way up. They are not. Okay, they are now. Give it a press. Check. And done. If you have problems with the plug, I mean, you'll have to redo it, but one thing to check is every once in a while I'll get like a little piece of plastic, plastic flashing stuck in here, so you can clean that out, and that's one thing to check. But uh, if the plug doesn't work, you pretty much cut it off and do it again. Uh, but checking for cleanliness, check to make sure that all the pins are down. Sometimes one of them gets stuck up, uh, doesn't go down, the machine doesn't squeeze it in place. But, uh, yeah, there's the other one. And then put the protector in place. Uh, you can save yourself insane money by, by making your own cables. Uh, you can buy the wire very cheaply. You can buy the ends for almost nothing. And the protectors and the tool. One-time investment on the tool and that's pretty much it. Okay, hope you enjoyed it.